Remember last thing we were talking about with the assembly of the MTD collector was the foot support and the gutter support. I think there might have been some confusion with it. I think I got them mixed up. Anyway, uh, this is the actual gutter support. This is where the gutter is going to run. And the water from the MTD collector is going to drain into this gutter. Uh, and this is the foot support. And I call it the foot support uh, when you come over here because it has like a little foot on the end here. And this is what mounts on your roof. You'll have a little block of wood on your roof. Probably pressure treated wood would be good. And this, and this butts right against it and you screw that into it. There's also another support, a head support. So th this is how you this is how you can mount your collector. That makes your collector mounting a little easier. Okay, uh, so you understand the difference between the foot support and the head support and the gutter support. Now the next thing is we're going to install our insulation. This is isocyanurate insulation. In Home Depot it's called Tough R. It has a foil face on both sides. It has an R factor of, uh, I think it's about seven or so. Anyway, so this not only is a nice insulation for our collector, it also is the backing for the collector, so you don't have to put an additional backing. Because this MTD collector is so light that there will be very little stress on the and you slide it in like this, and if all your measurements are right, it'll fit in just nicely like this. Okay, so we have our insulation in place, but if we just dribble water across our insulation, it's not going to collect much heat, and it's going to go all over the place. Uh, why don't you come a little closer so you can see the see this um, this uh, insulation, the solid insulation doesn't fit exactly tight and, and that doesn't really matter because we're going to make it waterproof. So this is a trickle down distributor. Remember and it has these spigots in it. You got one, two, should have, oh, well this has two. You could put three in if you wanted. So we're going to press these in into the slot. We don't have to do this now but I just want to uh, uh, See little problems like this. You want to make sure that your holes are big enough so you can push it in place. All right. So notice it's kind of high like this. And there's a reason for that, and that'll become more apparent a little later. Anyway, so your trickle-down distributor goes up here. But we have to put some waterproof material to prevent the water from seeping out all over the place, plus we want to distribute the water evenly and we want to turn the, we want to heat the water up so we're going to need a black material. The first thing that we're going to put on here is what I call the bottom bib. This is the bottom bib. It's uh, made from EDPN material from Goodyear. It's a type of rubber. Very tough, very waterproof. And we're going to put this on the bottom. The next thing we're going to need is a waterproof material that's really tough and heat resistant that's going to cover the entire collector. This is Mylar. It's 5 mil Mylar, 30 inches wide and about 4 feet long. So we're going to put this right, up, right in here. And I've already cut some notches here for the trickle down distributor. We'll just slide that in like that. And notice how it fits. It goes right up along the sides here. So that's nicely waterproof. Okay. So we have that so, so far. Now the next thing we're going to need is we have the bottom bib and the mylar goes right over the top of the of the bottom bib, but we're going to need a top bib, and our top bib is going to fit right in here. But with the little 
little patience. It takes a few minutes to get it into position. Once you get it all set up, you take a piece of one inch insulation and press it, press it in, in, in like this. Now I'm just going to temporarily clamp this like this just to hold it. And I'm going to raise this up like this because the next piece that we're going to put in here will be our polyester felt. Okay, uh, so we've installed our mylar film, our waterproof mylar film on the bottom. The next thing that we need is a, a material that will absorb water and also turn sunlight into heat. And that a great material for that is polyester felt. So this is our next layer. We'll put the polyester felt down like this. Now, when the water first starts trickling down, we want it to cover as much of this sheet as possible. So what we're going to do, the end part really isn't that important, but see we have some extra felt left over on the top. And what we'll do here is we're going to fold this over like this. So when the water trickles down on it, it'll disperse the water more. Okay? So it'll be just like this. So the water will come down here and then it'll, it'll dribble on this mat. But we're not done yet.